Hi guys, it's the Page Channels with Noreen here and I'm here to do a book review on Goddess by Josephine Angelini which is the third book in the Star Cross trilogy. Okay, so I'm going to give a quick summary of this book. If you want to see my review in the second book, Dreamless, then click here. Um, so basically Helen has unleashed all the 12 gods um, onto Earth and they're creating havoc and chaos in, on Earth, uh, basically. Um, and Helen and her little team have to find a way, have to plan and attack, have in getting rid of these gods away from the mortal world onto another area, another world, banished. And I'm going to go in straight away and give my opinions about the characters. Pretty much my review, my opinions about the characters are the same as the first and the second book. The only one that's changed is the main character, Helen. I did not like her in this book. I thought she was just at times very selfish and thinking about herself and just you know too up in herself too you know, big for her boots like you know oh, I'm Helen of Troy I can do whatever I want I just do not like her end of which was a very disappointment which was a disappointment because I really liked her I really really liked her in the first book and I liked her in the second book but it's just in this book she was just too much one of the main reasons is because I did not like the fact that Josephine gave her so much powers I mean I get it it's part of the story it's part of the plot line Helen is supposed to be very very strong but I just thought the way Josephine wrote it oh yeah I've got another power oh no I've got another power hmm I didn't know I've got this power it's just it was just it's very very jumpy um let me just tell you the power that she had I mean she's already had in the first book electricity um being able to fly and um yeah pretty much that's it I mean she had that sense as around a necklace but that isn't her power um and she also had, she also had um, a face, her face that made all kinds of men swoon at her feet. But again, that she was kind of, but again, I wouldn't count that as a power per se. It was just Helen of Troy's face. Uh, but in this book, okay, so she is a world build builder. She can control people's hearts. She's a false finder, um, and she can conjure up an electromagnetic field around this area, surrounding area, around her area. I mean, for example, she can call up metals at her will without touching them. For example, a spoon. I just thought it was just too much for this character. I didn't like it. I just really, really didn't like it. The plot, again, it was a massive disappointment for me because I did not like the plot. Everything was just a bit confusing. There was just so much background information, so much myths surrounding this book, so much Greek myths, um, just so much flashbacks as well, and there's some things that just didn't make sense. I mean, it, it seemed like Josephine, um, it's like she started a plot line here, didn't finish it, carried, start, created a new plot line, didn't finish that, created a new plot line, didn't finish that. I mean, it didn't flow as I like my books to normally flow. It seemed like Josephine did a lot of background information, did a lot of research in Greek mythology, and just through everything she researched in this one book it's just I did not like it I didn't like it which is such a big disappointment because I loved the first two books one thing that I one thing that I would like to say also is that what really really angered me is that her best friend Claire, Helen's best friend Claire quit not quickly but switched sides um, I'm not gonna tell you in what if in case for those who haven't read it um, but towards the end of the book there was two groups two kind of teams and Claire was in the other team as opposed opposite um, Helen's team because um, she was just too scared with the amount of power that Helen had that what she would do she would become this tyrant she would become this kind of baddie in the in the future and I thought really I mean you've been best friends with her since you were guys that were small and you're not sticking up for her when she needs you the most when she needs all the people that she loves to be with her to be support her I mean, I get it, you want, you're afraid, you're scared, but this is Helen, this is the person you've known since all your life. If that was me, I would not have forgiven her as easily as Helen forgave her. I just thought, such a coward move, such a cowardly move. Um, so, I know that review was very, very short, but there's really nothing I can say about this book. I'm giving this book a 3.5 stars. Um, it is such a big disappointment. I mean, I thought it would be good. I loved the first book really really loved the first book and um, it was a breath of fresh air it was a new book a new kind of storyline that i haven't read before the second book kind of lived up to that expectation as well a new character orion still love him gotta love that i thought the third book book will be just as good that was my review for goddess by josephine josephine angelini um, check out all the links down below our twitter our goodreads and our blogs where we do written reviews reading stay awesome and i'll see you soon bye